I can just hear you asking, Michael, why is it all dark? Well, the answer to that is because it's nighttime. Today, I'm gonna try and climb Ben Vane. There's supposed to be no cloud in the sky. A wee bit of cloud would be nice, but excited to be out this morning. Excited to be out climbing mountains. Last night, I decided today was going to be a day of just doing stuff about the house. But I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning, dreaming about Ben Vane. Not sure why. So I thought I'd get up and come here. Didn't have batteries charged, didn't have my bag packed, so there was a lot of faffing about the house. Then I arrived here and I'm late. The sun's already kind of rising and my plan was to be at the top of Ben Vane doing my sun dance as it rose. That is not the case. I think the sun must be rising earlier in the morning or something. Oh my word, I've got all over excited and started taking pictures all over the place. The sun rose and I didn't know it was rising. I was walking up the side of the mountain here and I thought, wow, it's very bright all of a sudden, isn't it? Turned around, the sun was peeking up, so I kind of missed it, but I think I got a few shots, which I'm quite happy with. Look at this for a view. Oh, I'm getting rewarded here with my walking. This is where I was last week. Uh, that's Ben Louis, so I think this area here is maybe just over that hill is where I was knocking about last week with a camera in the snow. Still looks pretty snowy over there. Jumpers are off. It is roasting up here. Look at the weather that I am getting. Amazing. I've been taking wee snaps just all the way up as I go along. The light's okay, it's just direct sunlight, so there's nothing special happening, nothing like it was this morning. Uh, we're getting, the sun's starting to get quite high. And this is my reward, summit of Ben Vane. What a view. Just stopped for a little break and I thought I'd do a little bit of geography with you. So, we have Ben Vorlick here. This is like a first little peak of Ben Vane, but the peak that I climbed is further on up there. Well, the top is further up there. We then come round to a Kreuz, I think it's called something like that. Pronunciation, probably off again. And you can see Loch Lomond there shining away in the distance. If we turn around a little bit more, we have Ben Narnian. There is Ben Lomond there as well, uh, just in the background. So quite a nice view, not much from the top, but as we're coming out of the cloud, the view becomes a little bit better. There 
are some places it's really important you don't slip. After lunch, everything just seemed so much more photogenic. I was walking down the hill there, one foot after another, really not caring too much what happened. But now, I've got food in the engine, and I'm the photography engine. Oh, that seems a bit funny. Anyway, all right, what we have here is just a couple of rocks. They're quite evenly spaced, which is quite unusual, so that is what I think attracted my attention to them. And we've got a nice background of Ben Narnian in the background. Yeah, Ben Narnian, we've got Ben in. Just behind me there, Ben Narnian, Ben is that one. So I've framed it up and I've gone for quite a tight crop on this, I think. And I really want the attention to be drawn to the rocks rather than to anything else. Oh, here, Flip, look at that. That looks nice. Sorry, what happened there was the sun went behind a cloud and kind of grayed everything over a little bit. The sun was out and it was creating a lot of contrast between the rock. Uh, this, this side is the shadow of the rock and then the background there. My photography engine is back in gear. <laughs> Okay, I want to show you a photo before I talk about it. So here it is now. The reason I wanted to show you the photo first was just to show you how cropping stuff out of a frame makes a difference. Now, I quite like this little tree sitting on top of that rock but just have a look at all the stuff that's around it. Not quite as pretty, is it? Nice simple image, tree on rock, dark background, uh, and I've just cropped it in. The lens that I'm using, the 24 to 105, isn't that zoomy, if that's a word. So I've had the crop in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever as well, just to get that a tight enough crop to work. But, quite a nice little photo to end the day, I hope anyway. So this is me pretty much back down home. I'd just like to say, if you're still watching, thank you for watching. And if you did enjoy it and haven't already, please like and subscribe. That would be a great help out. Thank you very much and maybe see you next week.